what if we have two numbers in scientific notation and we want to multiply them together? Well, it turns out, because of the way scientific notation is put together out of multiplication, that that's very easy. Let me give a simple example. Suppose we want to multiply 3.2 times 10 to the 4th times 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2. Right, we, we would like to put the two significants next to each other and the two orders of magnitude next to each other. And it turns out that because of the commutative and associative properties, we can do just that. Right, we can swap the order of these two factors, change the grouping around, and we have 3.2 times 1.5 times 10 to the fourth times 10 to the negative 2. Okay, 3.2 times 1.5, we can just do that. 3.2, 1.5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, add in the 1 I carried and I get 16. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, add it all up, and 1, 2 digits after the decimal points, so I get 4.80 times 10 to the, I'm multiplying together two different powers of 10, so I just add the exponents, 4 plus negative 2. What's 4 plus negative 2? Well, it's 2. So I've got 4.80 times 10 to the 2. Hmm. Let me check on my calculator and see if that really works. I want to make sure that my answer shows up in scientific notation. So I'm going to go to mode psi. That's scientific notation mode. And then I'm going to put in 3.2 times 10 to the fourth times 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2. And I see that I really do get 4.8 times 10 to the 2. What's our procedure then? Our procedure is going to be we're going to multiply the significants and Right. We're going to also multiply the orders of magnitude, but that amounts to adding the magnitudes. And then there's a possibility that we'll have to fix the scientific notation. Why might we need to fix the scientific notation? Well, long story short, sometimes when we multiply one-digit numbers, we get a two-digit number. Let's see an example. Let's say we wanted to multiply 9 times 10 to the 27th by 7 times 10 to the negative 19th. Well, noticing that 9 times 7 is 63, multiplying the significance will get 63, and then adding the magnitudes, 27 plus negative 19, that's positive 8. 63 times 10 to the 8th. Now that expression is equal to our answer, but it's not properly formed scientific notation. Why? Because my significant is a two-digit number, right? Two digits to the left of the decimal point. What do I do? Well, I make this into scientific notation in its own right. Right, most significant, least significant, and then the magnitude is just 1, 6.3 times 10 to the 1, 
so we have 6.3 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 8th. So we'll get 6.3 times 10 to the 9th. Let's confirm that with the calculator, too. All right, we have 9 times 10 to the 27th times 7 times 10 to the negative 19th, 6.3 times 10 to the 9th, just like we found by hand.